Hey, one listeners. Today, I'm going to show you how to maximize your campaigns by sending the right number of emails at the right time. We have studied email deliverability in detail to ensure that your emails will always end up in the inbox instead of the spam folder. So in today's video, I will, I will go over your email limits and our recommendations to avoid the spam folder, increasing deliverability by changing the speed of your campaigns, as well as understanding your LinkedIn limits to protect your account. All right. So the first thing that you should know is that Lemlist actually does not have a limit on the number of emails that you can send. The only limit that you will have is actually coming from your email provider. We do recommend that you send 100 to 150 emails per day because this allows you to mimic human behavior and end up in the primary folder instead of the spam folder. However, if you are receiving an error, on Lemlist, if you see a message like this that says your account is paused, that is because your email, you have reached the limit from your email provider. So in this case, you want to go and check with your email provider to see what their limit is and make sure that you try to stay away from this limit at all costs so that you do not end up in the spam folder. And you also want to make sure that after you know that limit, you come into Lemlist and you change the settings. So to do that, you will go up here to settings and you can go to your limits. And here you can change the number of emails that you send with Lemlist in a day. So this is where you will change it based on the settings that you have with your email provider. You can also hear in these settings, see here in these settings that this is where you can input your LinkedIn limits as well. Now you can also check out how many emails you're sending a day at any time by again, visiting settings and going to email health. And this will show you the number of emails that you're sending per day. If it's blank like this, you just need to compute your stats. And there you go. It will show you how many emails that you have been sending. Also, you should know that the emails that you send with Lemworm are not actually included in your limits. So don't worry about that when you go here and see the number of emails that you're sending. This will not be included. So. The next aspect of your email deliverability is going to be the speed at which you're sending your emails. So to modify the speed, you're going to go here into your campaign and check out schedules and you can modify the speed by going over here to reach a lead every blank minutes. So this will allow you to increase or decrease the speed at which you're sending your emails. You can see I can increase the speed by putting in two here and this will allow me to reach more leads every day also if you want to decrease it then i can put reach a new lead every 30 minutes you can also modify the time frame of which you're sending the emails and this will allow you to increase or decrease the number of emails that you're sending a day now after you have put in the time frame as well as the reach a lead every blank minutes, this will give you an estimation of the number of leads that you will reach per day. Now, keep in mind that this might vary depending on the limits that you have previously set in your settings. Also, you should know that this estimation is only based on the first step of your sequence and does not consider your follow-up steps. Speaking of follow-up steps, the next thing that we are going to go over is the delay. So we're going to go to our sequence here and you can see that there is this little box here between each of my steps that says wait for how many days. This is the delay. So the delay is how many days you want in between sending the next step of your sequence. So you can use a delay to actually schedule your emails if you'd like. So let's say that I am creating this campaign today, but I would like to wait and schedule it for a week from now. Then I can go here and, and put seven, and this will wait to send my campaign for a week. Now, if you would like to do this, if you want to schedule your campaigns, just be sure that you go here to settings. Oop, there we go 
just go here to settings and to team and ensure that you have your first step delay enabled. If not, then that first step that we saw, the first delay is not going to show. So let's go back in here to our campaign. Okay, so I would like to schedule this for one week from now. Now you can also add a delay to your follow-up steps. Follow-up steps are very important because they can help to increase the success of your campaign and they can actually increase it by 30%. So make sure that you are utilizing follow-up steps when possible. So let's say that I would like to have many follow-up steps, but in between follow-up steps, I would like to wait a day or a few days in between. For example, I want to visit my leads LinkedIn profile, but then the next day I want to invite, send an invite to that person's LinkedIn. And then finally, one day after that, send an email to them. Then in this case, I would put a one day delay as I have set here. You can change this to anything you, you would like. If you want to wait five days, you could go ahead and put that as well. There we go. Now, speaking of LinkedIn, you should also know that there are limits on the amount of activities you can do with LinkedIn. These are set again by LinkedIn, not by Lemlist. And as I showed you before, you can modify them in your settings, but LinkedIn has a limit of about 100 to 150 actions per day. Please be sure that you stick to this limit, otherwise your LinkedIn account might be banned, so definitely stick to these to ensure the health of your account. That was it for today's video. If you have any questions, please be sure to go up here to the question mark and you can always visit the help and support guide or chat with us. And as always, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the Lemless channel so you'll see more about what's new with Lemless. That's it, guys. Have a great day.